Pisces, beautiful queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. Subscribers, unsubscribers, and cross watchers, welcome, welcome, welcome. How you guys doing? I miss you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Hope everybody had great holidays. I did. If I didn't, I know my kids sure did. Yeah. What's going on? It says, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. All right, all right. So, y'all seeing somebody for the first time with the eyes of love? Y'all get dismissing that old shit that happened in old relationships and not bringing it in new relationships? You're not being delusional? You're not being confused that this is a totally different person? That's what's up. No shit. Yeah, y'all got clarity. Yeah, you got clarity. You got stability. Yeah, you moved on with a new. Yeah. Y'all have clarity. Y'all have recovery. You're not out in the code. You know that whoever this, I guess in this new relationship, you don't feel like you're going to be out in the code. Okay? I mean, it could be a relationship with somebody else. It could be just a relationship with yourself. Everybody's story is different. But you got stability. You're a good father. You you are in an opportunity right now that you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. You decide to go on a new, a new way. Have willpower. Going in a different way. New direction in life. You you vroom, vroom, you're out. You're out. The chariot moves. The chariot keeps on going till they get to their destination. Nothing can over stop the ch the chariot. You will run something the fuck over. You at you, you don't have conflict in your life anymore. You don't want conflict in your life no more. You have decided, you know what? I'm going to respect the differences and move on. So y'all do that. No more conflict. No more. You, you respecting the differences. This is, you want, now whoever this other old person was has to respect your differences too. Because you're the, you're the balance. Yeah. You had the passion to move on and travel and go on to new things. Like I said, nothing can stop you. You going on new journeys. Some of y'all went on new journeys. Some of y'all left home to new jobs, new prosperity. Yeah. But you released yourself. And if you didn't, you're releasing yourself. You're releasing yourself from old habits, old thinking, old ways. Because when... Staying in that was just work without rewards. And you don't plant bad seeds. You know seeds seven the pinnacles upside down. You know that this you ain't planting no damn seeds that's not going to grow. Hell no. You ain't got time for that shit. No. No. Somebody trying to come in and give you a gift. Now, it's probably from the new person. Yeah. But what it says... You're looking in the eyes of love now. You're not looking at the, in the past. So now you can look at things different. Yeah, this person might come in with a little gift. But you're already financially stable. Who the hell said that you was looking for somebody that has as much as you? You're looking for somebody that has integrity. You're looking for somebody that has real love. You're looking for somebody that has ghosts. Now, you ain't looking for nobody that ain't got nothing. But you are right if they ain't got as much as you. You accept them for who they are. At least they got something. And maybe they can, They might have more than you. They might just trying to give you something little to see how you will react with that little before they give you big. So don't get twisted. Yeah. But everything that didn't mean you no good, you said, come here. Come here. Because I already know the truth about all you fuckeries in my life. And it's time for me to cut off with your motherfucking head. You are you have ruthlessly went in there and cut off shit and people that meant you no good. Off with their motherfucking head. Yeah. I'ma respect you. I'm a, I definitely I'ma avoid conflict and respect our differences. <coughs> but I didn't say I was gonna do it nicely. Off with your motherfucking head. Look, off. Oh. If I cut you got if I cut you off. By your air supply, you won't be at your head. 
You won't be able to think that you can get over me no goddamn more. And you won't be able to breathe out those lies to me anymore. Yeah. You had to cut the head off. Because you felt like it was too much of a responsibility and too many burdens. And you couldn't hold, look. She having a hard time, ten of wands, holding them goddamn, I can't hold this shit up. I can't. I can't hold it up by myself. I can't. I can't hold up something that's too heavy and too much work by myself. So the best thing for me to do is release this shit. Release it. Be gone. Be gone. Release it. I'm moving on. There's new love out there for me. I have intuition about everything. You know the truth. I have intuition. And I know that the universe is going to give me a cup of overflowing emotions and the love from somebody else. I can't let people that have strings attached, stingy and greedy, be in my life anymore. I can't. I won't. I'm not. No. I, I, I have to cut you off. By your, off with your motherfucking head. I have to cut your head off. Because I can't hear your lies anymore. <laughs> I can't. I can't let you think you could think about those lies anymore to give, to tell me out of your punk ass mouth. It's too much responsibility. Too many burdens to let people in my life that are greedy with strings attached. No. Take your oppressive overbearing ass somewhere else. You know, I don't have time. Yeah. You have took your freedom. You are not in mental prison anymore. You have freedom. You have walked away. And if any of these people with their strings attached try to steal something from you, they, they didn't took their own freedom. This is go to jail card. You might have stabbed me in the back several times, but you did not defeat me. Now, I don't know if y'all sending this to them through a message, through the phone, because you see she on the phone. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if they just going to see it because you're going to put something on your social media for them to find out, and they're going to see it through their phone. Because they frustrated. And they've tried to cause a lot of obstacles and delays. And some of them still going to try to, through their frustration, going to cause some obstacles and delays. And look, they're going to jail for the shit. They might not have to steal anything from you. They might have just, because they frustrated, that you won't, you didn't cut their head off, and you won't take the responsibility of letting them be in they life, your life being greedy and stingy no more. Now they frustrated. And now they're trying to cause you obstacles and delays. And what they really doing is causing themselves obstacles and delays and going to take their own motherfucking freedom. That's what the fuck they going to do. Yeah. Because you didn't already dotted all your I's and crossed all your T's. You, you, and you strategically, slowly, Moved your way out of this motherfucking situation to your abundance of stability. Yes, you did. You beautiful great, handsome keys. You dotted all your eyes and crossed all your teeth before you went to war with this person. You slowly went in on their ass. That's why they didn't know. Yeah. That's why they wasn't ready for it. That's why they fucking frustrated and want to cause delays and obstacles. Well, that's why they was frustrated and caused delays and obstacles. Everybody's story is different. Because they thought they was going to stop you from being able to walk away from that. They did. They did. But guess what? They can try all they want. You are uninspired. You have no more motivation for this relationship. <laughs> they, they, can try, they can try all the obstacles and delays they want. You are uninspired. You have no more motivation for this relationship. You're done. You're done. And you're done. Death, there, this is a completely over. There's no comebacks. There's no beginnings when the death is upside down. Once you close this door, this door is closed forever. Forever. There's no comebacks. 
No new beginnings. So sorry, so sad? Yeah, the fuck right. You're not. Like, subscribe, comment to the next time. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this person knows you're done. Forever. Ever, ever? Ever, ever. I love you, beautiful queens and some kings. Till the next time.